back into the fourth. Thanks for staying with us this afternoon. The city of Gadsden is dealing with an illegal dumping issue on a road close to Nakalula Falls. So neighbors living on Hines Road are now demanding the city close the road or clean it up. Our East Alabama reporter Reggie Cow joins us live and on your side now to pick up the story from here, Reg. Sarah, many neighbors on Hines Road prefer a portion of that road remain closed. Gas and officials tell me first responders need to use that road. Hines Road near Nakalula Falls is a remote area with large tracts of woodland where people are illegally dumping trash. Because of its remote location, because of, you know, there's not any residences along that stretch, there's not a whole lot of um, people laying eyes on that stretch, it over time has become a popular dumping ground for people who don't want to do the right thing and take their trash to the landfill uh, on the other side of town. Property owners with assistance from the city of Gaston have cleaned up the area, but the problem continues to persist. The city chose to exercise its ability to um, control access to that portion of road and maintain the right of way. With the road having trail connectors that connect to the Black Creek Trail system and quicker access for first responders coming from the Alabama city side of town, the city came up with a solution. The best thing to do for the city of Gadsden is to close off vehicle access to this portion. What we're going to do is install a, a gate on each end of that three-quarter mile section of former roadway and allow, continue hikers and bikers to use that as they have forever as kind of a connecting point of the Black Creek Trails, but not allow vehicles to come down through there and, and cause those issues. And, you know, we'll be able to, with the gate access, we'll be able to allow emergency vehicles to come through if they need to. So that's kind of the idea of where we are with that. Now, Brett Johnson said the city would clean the area again. They will gravel over the road, smooth it out for first responders, and they hope to have the new gates ordered and installed within the next several weeks. In Gaston, Reggie Kyle, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.